Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. I'm playing on BNB, but this is in fact my super duper lapis testing world. Uh, I've brought you here because I wanted to show you this command block, or more importantly, what happens when I do this. Oh, hail the great Cthulhu! Uh, yeah, so hey, look, I made Cthulhu. Um, the command block in itself is ridiculously simple. Uh, you summon in a ghast, um, and this is just to say he's over there, um, and then you've got him riding a giant. Simplicity. Oh, uh, look at that! Brilliant. Now I showed you this because I want to also show you this super duper awesome. Well, it started off as a dragon, but it's now a T-Rex face that I have done over here. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, what 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 does that have to do with a giant? That's a very good question. Uh, well, not a giant, a Cthulhu monster. Um, basically, this is an entrance way. Um, so we'll just uh, want oh, grab that wall. We'll just wander on down here. Now this is all rough. I did this last night. Um, it kind of, all the ideas came to me at once, so I, I just started building without recording. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I've done all this down here, uh, and this is going to lead to a super awesome fancy mythical beast adventure killing place. Yeah, uh, battle arena. Basically, combatants are going to jump down here. Uh, this is going to be a balcony looking down on the arena. So imagine a great big open circle space with a guy running out there, and then a bunch of bad guys being spawned in for him to fight. Um, obviously, I'm going to use command blocks to make the bad guys as awesome as possible. Uh, Cthulhu is just one of the ideas of the bad guys I'm going to come up with to fight. But yeah, I, I think this is the best idea I've come up with for the server yet. Um, <coughs> yeah, so like, there's a bit more of a story to go with this, because um, I, I, I went, um, anyway, let, me, let me collect my thoughts, I didn't go anywhere, uh, off um, like at a very great distance away, me and the admins were playing in um, creative mode, because we, we need somewhere to talk to each other and flat out ideas, and whilst uh, playing around, I built this strange thing. Now, does it have my name on it? No, it's got Katie's name on it. Uh, which we're going to go up and give a try, apart from I'm too full of stuff, so the bone meal can stay. <laughs> that That's cheap here. We're, we're, no, no one really cares about bone meal. Right, uh, and torches. That's good enough for me. Pop that there. Done. Right. Press the button, because like, there's these strange rings up here. So first thing, oh my god, I've been teleported somewhere. It's alright, I've only been teleported up. And we've got to try and fall through the hoops. Uh, now hopefully I will do a perfect run this time and you guys will see that this this is possible because it is quite difficult, but it's not not impossible. Um, and here we go. It is a long way down. Hey, and there's all the... I really thought I wasn't going to do that. So yeah, I made that and I was like, oh, you know what, I can I can make other stuff. Uh, incidentally, this is free for everyone to play. Just come along, read the warning. Like, you should not press this. You will die. Um, there are chests to put your stuff in, though, so um, feel free to have a pop. Uh, and it's just off of spawn. There's spawn. You can see everything's been a little bit, bit rearranged recently. Um, and lots of people are... Oh, Okay, so take a little bit of a, a, a break from what we've been saying there. This is this is the build I'll be getting on with today. Um, that, that's what we're going to actually be doing, is the, the super awesome fantasy mythical beach, uh, beast fighting arena thing. Um, but people have really gone to town on making the, uh, the train lines. Uh, this one was Revenge Predator, I believe. Uh, this one was Enderborn. Um, Lustria, or Charlie, really outshone himself with this one. Um, everyone who's built and, uh, yeah, we've just all been complimenting this. this. This is amazingly good. This is definitely being used somewhere. Uh, Mad Frank got that. Um, th these are great. Uh, this is exactly what I was after. Um, we've got, so at the moment we've got four different train lines that we can send out to different areas. We're going to build a train station here and we'll probably do that next episode because that's going to be a big build and I'd like to try and get other people involved in it. Uh, mainly because I don't have any ideas right now. Ah. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and work on that. But let me collect all my stuff together um, and then we'll go down the hole and we'll talk about what I want to do down there. So back on with the killer strong explanations we're going to uh, see what we've done back here. So this was a nice big solid blank wall and now 
Look at all this space. Uh, I started off by scribing out the circle round the outside and then realised that I had a massive plug of stone to remove. Do you like my balcony? Um, so I called in the troops, I got Forrest, Frank, uh, Enderborn came in and had a, had a bash at it for a little bit. Um, and yeah, only one, one chest of cobble for some reason, don't know where the rest has gone. Um, but that took like, uh, just the best part of all day. Um, so what we're going to do, well, you'll see what we're going to do in a second. Right guys, so uh, we're going to do a test fire and see how big a hole three bits of TNT stacked on top of each other go. Uh, Forrest, you want to pull the lever? Woo! Now hopefully we're looking to go down sort of like 10, 11 blocks. <laughs> that might be it, you never know. Um, eight blocks. Eight blocks. Wow. Okay, so one more bit, four, four bits down should do it. I think we're gonna take from that. Right, we're gonna lace the floor up and uh, get back to you with the next bit. All right, and now for the next one. Hopefully this will be a, a, a nice, uh, I don't know, nice big explosion. Um, yeah, yeah, do it and try not to die. <laughs> do, do, do. Well, maybe a little far apart. Right, and the last one before we just jump to the next shot of all this cleared out. I hope this doesn't kill the server. I don't think it will. It's, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> maybe a few more of those, those are quite good. <laughs> so, I know I said that was like the last explosion, but Forrest had wired all this lot up and it's a shame to don't let it go to waste. So uh, take it away, Forrest. Ah, this should be beautiful. Or the server will fall. Ah, ah. Well, most of it got done. There we go, brilliant. So, it's been a couple of days since the last cut and a few things have been done and I'll try and point out who did what as we go around. So this glowstone lump has been done by um, Mad Frank, uh, that was good. All the surrounding areas around here were done by me um, and all in all I think we've pulled it together to make a very nice looking welcoming area. Um, bad luck Forrest. Um, <laughs> Uh, we, we've opened up the room down below, um, uh, I should be able to drop down, I think I've got fly on so this won't hurt, yeah there we go. We can drop down and this will be the, um, the area where the main combatants select their game mode and they come out into this area. So last time we were speaking we were blowing up TNT at the same height as this nether brick stair. Um, as you can see we've done a hell of a lot here, um, again we got the, the same build crew in, it was Forrest, Mad Frank and Enderborn mainly helping out with just about everyone else lending a hand as well, Decipher, Misaligned, um, oh, I don't know, too many names I forget. Um, I, I've started work on what this balcony is going to look like, I, I'm really actually quite impressed with this. I started off by putting this uh, nether brick fence around, the, uh, not fence, nether brick stair around the outside. And I think this has come together really well. I really thought it was going to be just like too much of a dark line, but it works really well just to split up the top from the bottom. Um, and then under uh, Miss Align's um, suggestion, I decided to put some um, sandstone up top and the contrast works really, really well. Uh, big problem with this big open space is we get all these slimes down here. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to counteract that, it's probably going to take like a transparent floor or half slabs. Um, if we can find out which bit the slime chunks are, that would be great. And the other thing I wanted to show you was my sad gargoyle. Oh. Um, yeah, the, this is just throwing up an idea. Um, I did have a sort of a sign, uh, not a sign, a pendant, a pennant. Thing, sort of like a bit of bit of fabric hanging down. Um, that was alright, but it was a bit standard. So I thought we'd put this guy here instead. Um, yeah, I quite like it. I think he's fun. Um, and now I'm gonna beat off all these slimes, and I'll be back with the next major thing. Um, well, I think what the next major thing we'll we'll carry on the roof all the way round. 
And I also want to add some boltings to under there. Um, anyway, let's fly on up. So you see we've got this cobblestone um, stair there. I kind of want to reflect it out this way so that this walkway has a slanted ceiling going back. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the back room, back wall. Um, but there we go. So I've got those bits to get on with. Um, and I will be back when I've figured out exactly what it is that I'm going to do with these materials. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, so the ceiling kind of went well. There's little bits like this that, I, I don't know, I don't, as I say, this is bad, I don't like it. But yeah, all, all in all, generally it's kind of worked all the way around here. Um, but I've not come back just to tell you about that, even though that is awesome. Um, it's more to do with that thing down there. If we just run around past here, we can get down on my, my rough workings here. Drop down the hole, yeah. Sweet. Right, so first thing, I've moved Fnerbert. I'm not sure if that's what I'm actually going to call him, but he reminds me of the villagers, so... Um, so I've moved him over there to make room for this. Um, so I'm starting to get a bit of an idea of how sort of the underlying workings of this are going to work, how I'm going to summon the beasts in and stuff like that. Um, and I thought a really good way of keeping track of it all would be a nice um, nice round counter. Uh, obviously with the observation deck being up there, which incidentally looks good. I'm liking the way it's gone round. Um, the, the, the screen is good. The reason I'm putting the screen up all the way round is because I don't want anything in the... Um, uh, fight pit tracking the observers um, so if yeah try and keep it all in all in the pit um, and wiring is going all right this is obviously just the wiring for the display I don't have any way of keeping count yet or anything like that um, though I did have a small encounter uh, that floor right there that's uh, Harley or Mimi's floor um, so sorry Mims I had to had to just dig around that um, Thankfully I've managed to not, not disturb anything. Everything's all good and in place. Uh, I just took the, the, uh, the stone out from around. So yeah, um, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know how we're doing because th this took me forever and it feels like I've, it's been forever since I did a video. So yeah, we'll be back. Um, yeah, possibly with something better than that. This was gonna be uh, workings out for a massive sort of iron brace, but all that I can see when I look at it is a crab. Yeah, we can do better than that. Happy birthday, guys! Well, it might not be your birthday, but it certainly was my birthday, and whoa, what a weekend! Um, yeah, but other than that, that that's that's my real life. Uh, we, we've got things going on down here. Woo! Uh, as you can see, we've got a small little um, uh, production facility, I suppose is the best way of calling it. Let's pop that there. Um, and also, in honour of my birthday, Miss Align got the uh, Silk Touch book, which, yay, I was looking for it so much. Uh, she managed to do it in like five books. Yeah, I went through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, but she did it in five. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Miss. Nice. Woo! Uh, what are we going to call them? Oh, God, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to call them. They're like my, my special precious shit. Oh, they are my birthday present after all, aren't they? They're, they're definitely going to be my precious. Uh, this is where I completely spell precious wrong. That's good enough. My precious. Awesome. Um, so as well as that, let's show you what's been going on out here. Um, so it's been about a week. Um, sorry about the, the slow video count this week, guys. As I say, it's been my birthday. I have not been in a state. But look at all the work that's been done. Wow, so much. Um, so you remember Fnur, but got moved over there from there. Well, this has all been finished. Let's go have a look over this way. Oop, oop, oop. Uh, put these in here to, to stop them. Uh, so this has already been burnt down once, uh, as, as you'd expect. Uh, we we got a blaze loose in here. I was testing all the bad guys from from, from out there, and I'd put a blaze on a cat, and this was made out of coal, and he'd set everything on fire, and then ran in here and set everything else on fire. But as you can see, it's now all done, um, which which is good. Um, I I have everything from counting systems to to display systems even a, even a clock back here which I've now I've recently broken um, basically I just didn't want it ticking over anymore I, I need to, to get everything done yeah but this line this counts up in tens um, it, it's quite quite a nice little system actually we got we got an item in here the arena timing quartz gets passed along from dropper to dropper um, and that then turns these torches off 
uh, one for each color which is each number that then interacts with this white stuff and the white stuff makes the numbers happen on front uh, which is great amazing um, and then when the zero on the end because it starts at one goes up to zero triggers off let's let's just run down this way oh no it, it triggers this line I kind of mashed my head space in a little bit ah there we go um, it triggers that line off which then triggers this tens column which is the exact same setup as over there apart from it starts on zero and then goes one two three because you know when the zero comes on the end this needs to go up so it's like one and zero uh, and then it goes back one and one one and two one and three to give you all the T numbers and so on and such forth which is, is great um, I don't think we'll be using anything higher than 10 for a, a long while um, mainly because I've not come, I've not even come up with seven bosses so far uh, and I've also thought about maybe doing some sort of uh, survival situation like um, you know a never-ending zombie horde or something like that so that would mean this this is quite good you know it ticks up every couple of seconds or so and just keeps delivering zombies but I'm about to do a time-lapse and this may be the final time-lapse of this episode hopefully um, you see this ring around here well I've put this in place because I want a Mortal Kombat logo on the floor I want it in black black um, black glass and lava underneath and that should hopefully stop all the slime spawning in and then around the outside we'll do something special with I don't know half slabs Oh, I don't know what we'll do around the outside, but yeah, first I'm going to set up, hopefully misaligned account actually, up there, uh, to watch me dig out this and try and make this happen. So yeah, wish me luck guys. Let's roll it. is taking a lot more glass than I thought it would and also I can't do this guy's face without making him look all derpy uh, yeah uh, well I'm gonna go make some more glass and we'll carry on with the time-lapse and try and get this not looking quite so derpy was fun uh, I really enjoyed that um, I haven't quite got it right though uh, his face needs to go over that way a little bit I believe and then his jaw needs a little jaw line to it and then this neck needs to kind of come out more a bit there uh, but that, that is gonna take me forever just a, a, a tweak here move up here do a little block so we're not gonna do a little uh, 
we're not going to do a time lapse for that but i am going to um do that quickly now and then we'll be back with the improved version and we can all go yay so ready three two one yay all right maybe he still looks just as derpy as last time but he has been improved a little bit you'll notice this corner thing his mouth looks a bit bigger his eye is a bit more evil uh we've got these little tenderly bits that are actually oh dark noises there are actually is like hair i think they're supposed to be or scales or something um but yeah there we go uh, i've done it and i think i've done the episode uh we, we've run out of time guys uh sorry for that um there's still so much more to do here but this is 20 minutes already uh well to be fair we've done a lot in this 20 minutes we have put up a dragon face we've entered out this em emptied out this massive space oh there's no way for me to go that way um and 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 put this floor in we've done the scoreboard we've got Fnerba and his brother I don't have a name for him yet. Uh, cheers for the cipher for doing that. Uh, we've done all the the, the uh, decoration around the outside. Got the floor on the go. Yeah, we, we, we've done so much. Not to mention everything out that way. Uh, and we will be continuing with this next episode where we will hopefully wrap up. Um, we can get the get the bosses done in, sort out done and in, sort out the game mechanics, um, like how how we're going to start up the challenge and stuff like that. I should imagine it's going to be a button press and then a. <gasps> Ow. And then a pressure plate may be here to signify that you're ready to go. Yes, I'm ready for the next level. <laughs> uh, but yes, until then, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I will see you next time when we're going to do all that stuff. Bye!